what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video um we're out here today checking out some pretty crazy cars uh behind me here is this pagani pagani Waira. there's a p1 over there a kuntas there's some crazy stuff we're out here at the uh, fav reserve we're gonna hit a mclaren ferrari and probably lamborghini today as well so i'm gonna try to keep this video a little bit shorter i know some of my previous videos have gotten um, a little bit on the long side but let's kind of do a quick run around kind of show off all the crazy cars we're seeing today i'm um, with dan exotic cars of ontario he's running on the showroom stuff where you'll see him a little bit but yeah that's where we are today guys we're kind of doing the supercar a uh, little tour got to check out some mostly some crazy cars uh, mclaren has a really uh, kind of special edition 600 lt in the showroom right now so we'll go check that out a little bit later but first of all let's check out this uh this wire and this p1 over here the p1 we've seen before but not quite this up close so we'll go check it out and then we'll continue to go see everything else Okay, so this car here in front of us, Pagani Wire Roadster. Now, we've been here before and seen another Pagani. Of course, last time we were here, we saw the um, just the Pagani Wire, of course, not, not the Roadster. So that last one we saw was uh, finished in the green carbon fiber. This one, as you can see, is finished in exposed purple carbon fiber. Yeah, you guys can see there, it's the purple carbon fiber. Again, black carbon fiber mirrors, gold accents, probably probably one of the crazier spec Paganis. I mean, every Pagani is pretty crazy spec course you got the purple and gold theme still on the interior as well it's nice and first of all, you can see the big AMG V12 engine in the back there all engines hand built by Mercedes by uh, AMG well by AMG specifically for the Paganis but yeah this thing is crazy and then if we move over here again we have this uh, P1 we've seen this one before, uh sorry not P1 this uh, Senna over here we've seen it before this the uh, black is both carbon fiber and gold edition um, you might remember earlier in the year, actually, we saw this car at McLaren after it was recently they brought it in. Um, some of the unique features on the side, of course, apart from it being the full carbon fiber, it has this P15 on the side, which was kind of the project code name for the Senna P15 before, obviously, they came up with the uh, or announced that the Senna name. All right, guys, so moving on with the showroom quickly, we have the 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach sitting right here. Of course, old V12, five-speed manual in there. Move around the corner here, we kind of have the lineup of Ferraris. So 458 Speciale, the hardcore, kind of the more hardcore version of the Ferrari 458. Moving beside that, we have the 360 Challenge Stradale. And then moving over next, we have just kind of the regular 488 model, 48 GDB. Uh, has the, the two-tone package, so red body, of course. It has the black accent roof, black wheels, and the side skirts down below are finished in black as well. Of course, the 488, the successor to the 458. Um, I think if I had to pick one of these cars, I would definitely take the 458 Speciale. I fell in love with the 458 originally when I first saw one. And then when they brought out the more hardcore version and kind of exclusive, I was like, you know, for my money, I don't know, like this, uh, the sand and everything is nice, but the Speciale I think is worth that for me. And we'll finish off the showroom tour here with the McLaren 12C GT3 car. There's Dan. So yeah, McLaren GT uh, MB4 12C. Pretty, I mean, it's basically just a 12C that's been stripped out for racing. So these things are actually insanely loud as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for the uh, showroom tour here at Fav Reserve. Okay, so we're actually still at Faf uh, Reserve. This isn't the LT I was talking about. We're still going to go to McLaren, but they have this one to show them here. It's a 600 LT Spider, and it's basically finished in a full golf livery. So it's got the light blue paint, all the orange accents, but the interior is the crazy part. Pretty much full orange interior, but if you look at the paddles on this car, the paddles are actually finished in the same light blue. It's got the 12 o'clock stripe in blue and kind of the handling and um, transmission buttons down there are active. The active buttons there are on the contrasting colors as well. So like full golf livery on this 600 LT. Looks absolutely awesome. But yeah, if you guys thought this 600 LT was epic, we're gonna go over to the McLaren dealership right now and we're gonna show you one that's even more special than this. All right guys, so back inside the McLaren showroom, we've been here many times before. You guys kind of already know what they have in here, but couple new things they have this 605 lt finished in the in the papaya spark absolutely gorgeous car the interior is all pretty much matching as well and i don't know about you guys but if i could pick any one of my clearance it would be a 605 lt i know it's kind of the older model maybe not the fastest you know especially there's a mclaren center right behind me but the 605 lt this is this is the kind of the mclaren that i fell in love with at first sight so definitely if i had the money i'd probably buy a senna but 
I'd have to come by 675 LT first, just because, once again, this is the car that kind of made me fall in love with the whole McLaren brand. One other fun fact, guys, on all of the LT cars, I'll show you in the 600 too if I can, but they actually say, in the headlight cluster, they say what the model of the car is, as well as on the side of like every car. Also, if you look inside the headlights, you see it says 625 LT in there. The car that we pretty much came here today to see is this over here, the McLaren 600 LT. This is with the Coriolis paint, and I realize this is way washed out, so let me fix that. Okay, guys, so I was apologizing before that was really washed out, but yeah, this is the 600 LT. This is kind of a special commission one that Faf McLaren Toronto just got in. So this has the Coriolis paint. In fact, you can see it's kind of light kind of like a lighter blue at the front I know the camera's not doing any kind of justice guys dark it a bit there you go you can kind of see a little bit better now that again the camera's not doing it any kind of justice but it's kind of a lighter blue at the front and then it transitions into the back into a dark blue full MSO carbon fiber options on there of course this one has the roof scoop and unfortunately there's a barrier in front of me so we can't go past but on the inside as well pretty much every accent on the inside it's pretty much all black but then the side panels have the same blue light blue as the front some other blue accents on the inside yeah, as far as 600 LTs goes, this is probably the craziest one that I've seen. So let me know in the comments below. Both cars are blue. If you could only go home with one 600 LT, are you taking this coupe with the roof scoop? Or would you be taking the Golf Spider that we saw just a few minutes ago? I think if I had to choose one, I would definitely be taking this car. Just the paint job is epic. Oh, and did I mention that the paint job alone on this car is $120,000? So that's sinking in for a second. The paint on this is $120,000, and you could probably pick up that. 360 challenge car next door for around the same money so you could buy a whole supercar or you know you could buy this mclaren all right guys and as i mentioned with the 675 unfortunately because of the bear i can't get up close but if you if you actually see a 600 lt right where i'm pointing with my finger in there in the headlight cluster again it says the model number 600 lt Okay, guys, so I'm going to put Dan on the spot here. Again, Dan, Exotic Cars of Ontario. If you're not already, go follow him. Links in the description below, Instagram, YouTube. So pretty much, I just brought Dan down today. I already saw this car about a week ago, guys, when it first landed. But Dan's been dying to see it. So you've seen pictures. Now to see it in real life, any what do you money, think? Any car in the world, this is what I'm taking. Really? Over over the Senna that's over there? I mean, there's, there's a Senna. There's over a Senna, the Senna right I'm over there. This. I mean... <laughs> I mean, color. I mean, yeah, I got to make guys. The Senna's are, are definitely cool. I would definitely have one, but yeah, no money. I would probably take the Senna, and I'd be taking this car here just because of the sheer volume of it. And the fact that the 600 LTs are limited cars. So even, you know, five years down the road, if I wanted to order one, I couldn't have to go and buy one second hand. So, um, if also the paint job on this car is $120,000. Yeah. So you can I, buy another supercar and paint it on this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mentioned that before already. Like, literally, the paint job on this is $120,000. So just let that sink in for a second. You could buy an older used supercar. Like, I sent an auto trader some older Ferraris, Lamborghini Gallardos, trading for $120,000. Or you can paint your 600 LT. So, and also, too, this is kind of adds to the rarity of this car. Because this, I think, I think... I think it's, it's a one-off, but they might have made a couple of these. I'm not sure if they have a, a, a spider version as well, but it's definitely awesome to see a 600 LT, especially one that's kind of so special as this one is. And of course, guys, it wouldn't be a trip out here to McLaren or just to generally the Fat Family dealership without just, you know, casual GT2 RS just sitting in a parking lot here at, at McLaren because, you know, just this is regular everyday life in the supercar world. I right, guess so we're inside the Ferrari showroom. I'm going to keep my voice down because there are a bunch of people walking around and kind of working. But in front of us here is a 488 Pista. We've actually seen this car before. Um, we actually saw it being delivered here on one day back in the summer. And we saw it at Cars and Coffee. So, um, so yeah, here's a 488 Pista here. Unfortunately, once again, there's a barrier here so we can't get in front. But um, if you want to see more of the Pista, I'll link... Um, I'll link one of the other two videos that has this car so you can kind of fully see it. But if we flip around here, they have a few cars in the showroom. There's an old, uh, there's a California here. There's a couple of uh, 812 Superfasts over there. Uh, there's a 488 Spider. The Portofino's down at the end there. We'll go check it out in a second. Oh, yeah, there's a couple Californias. Another 812 tucked in the corner here. Actually, let's go check this one out. Uh, 812 Superfast over here, which of course is Ferrari's current. Uh, like big uh, V12 offering the interior in this thing is epic red red and white interior 
very nice. I must say, Ferraris actually do have really crazy interiors, even just from factory. <laughs> Like the options and everything. If you ever want to have some fun, guys, go on the Ferrari website. Go and spec out an A12. The interior options are just insane. And that's even just factory. That's not even uh, factoring in that they have, like, the special operations department where you can get, like, your name in the headrest kind of thing. But, yeah. So, once again, A12 super fast. Ferrari's new uh, big V12 front engine car. These things are super awesome. They sound amazing. Of course, it's a successor to the F12 um, lineup. And actually, guys, I just realized I'm wrong. This isn't A12. This is an F12. So here you go. You can see the evolution right here. F12 Berlinetta over there, kind of the outgoing old car. And then beside it here, and we just saw the A12 super fast, kind of the new, uh, the new area. You can see some of the design features that carry over. It's kind of have that hatchback styling, the rear end. It's much more aggressive on the A12 than it is on the F12. But yeah, both sound super aggressive. Um, the A12 again is is the faster of the two cars being newer. But which would you guys take if you had the money and you wanted the Ferrari V12? A12 super fast or F12? Dan says A12, but this guy's all about new things. I don't know, if I have to really pick, Again, you guys can't really see, but up top there is an F12 TDF. I think I'm taking home the TDF. This is the new 2020 Ferrari Portofino, which is kind of, again, kind of the successor to the, uh, um, the successor to the California T and kind of like the drop stop, drop top Ferrari Roadster style. Again, awesome interior. Ferrari really does have, like I said, great interiors. Beside us here is the 488 Spider, with again, another crazy interior. I don't know, Ferrari might be the kind of the king of uh, interiors from factory. And then up top there, unfortunately that's the private collection up top there. There's Dan again, but up top, so like I said, there's F12 TDF just in front of it there. You might be able to see the wing of an F40. There's a LaFerrari up top there as well. And on the far side, we can't see it right now, but there's also a Dino. Okay guys, so we're back here at Lamborghini, finishing up our uh, kind of supercar tour day. So. Once again, we've been here before. You guys have seen Lamborghini and Aston Martin. But quick showroom tour again. They have this beautiful white and black Lamborghini uh, Aventador SV. Of course, SV Super Veloce, kind of the hardcore version of the Aventador. And what's really cool about this one is that at the front here, it has the white side markers that fully blend in, where they normally be maybe orange, like here on the Performante. And then we have the two Performantes. We have the Performante Coupe and the Spider. This car I saw about a week ago, this car was like, this is like the perfect spec. If I had the money, I'd be leaving here in this car right now. And then they have the Rolls Royce here, because of course this is uh, the Lamborghini dealership, guys. But this is also uh, Grand Touring Autos, is kind of the parent company. And they sell Lamborghinis, uh, Bentley, Bugatti, Aston Martin, and some other, bunch of other stuff. So hence we have the, uh, the Rolls Royce. And if you guys are wondering, this is the Rolls Royce. This is a Dawn uh, Black Badge Edition. You can tell it's the Black Badge from the front here. The Rolls Royce logo is blacked out. And the Spirit of Ecstasy is, is finished in all black as well. I guess. And then moving to the other side of the showroom, we've seen kind of kind of the old on this side with the SV and the Performantes. Then we come over here and we see the brand new Huracan Evo. Now, luckily they have both. They have the Coupe and the Spider. So the Evo Coupe here, we've seen one before previously, but this one is finished in black. The last one was orange. So here's the new Evo. You can see kind of the new, oop. You can see the new style of front end. It looks very much like the Performante. Um, you can see there, the Performante kind of has the one fin that goes up. This is, the Evo is kind of the evolution of that new front end. Um, this still has the olive system on it, guys, but without the kind of the crazy arrow of the Performante. If we go to the back, you can see it has a lot of the same components as the Performante. It does have the olive system still, but you can see it kind of has a slightly reworked rear end. And, um, the back here is more rounded off than before. Still has the center exit exhaust, and it has a wing, but it's a lot smaller wing. But Lamborghini says that this still will provide lots of fun, and it still it does give you some pretty good downforce. And if you ever wanted to know what the firing order for Lamborghini V10 is, there it is. So yeah, so we move to the back here, guys. So once again, Huracan Evo Coupe and the Spiders here. Once again, they're essentially the same car, except the roof falls out on this one. This has the center locking wheels on it. And kind of the matching red and red and black interior to the outside. 
And on the end here, last but not least, we have the Lamborghini Urus, which of course is Lamborghini's new super SUV. We've seen these a bunch of times. You guys have probably seen a bunch of these on the road. They're pretty popular now. But yeah, there we go, the Lamborghini Urus. Always cool to see one of these things. Especially now with it being winter time in Canada, you see a lot more of these on the road. And I can't wait to, well, one day maybe get my hands on one and go fully off-roading in one. Okay. So, okay. So I'm gonna put Dan on the spot again, once again. We've gone around the entire showroom. Once again, guys, this is Grand Touring Autos, Aston Martin, and Lamborghini. So, if you could, uh, so again, I'm gonna, okay, because there's two different things here. So, yeah. if you take home one Aston Martin and one Lambo that we've seen in the showroom, what are you taking home? Hmm. Well, SV. <laughs> no <laughs> SV, mistake obvious. there. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm, ta I'm taking the SV. Guys, I'm taking the, the SV too because, come on, V12 Lambo, you can't go wrong. And honestly, that V8 Vantage over there, that gray, it yeah, just, it, you know looks, what? it would look really good. The V8 with the Vantage, SV. and you know what? Fun fact: <laughs> the, v, the V8 Vantage is also because with the new, uh, the new age kind of car manufacturer working together, the V8 Vantage is actually pretty much the exact same engine and platform as an AMG GTR. If you guys didn't know that, fun fact. Okay guys, so we got the clear out of the dealership here, so we've heard Dan, so he's taking the V Advantage and the SV. I'm definitely also going to be taking the SV and I'm going to be taking the DBS because it comes with the V12 as well. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Um, and let me know in the comments down below, we've seen a bunch of cars in the video, hopefully I kept it kind of short, quick run through. But if you guys could pick, what was your favorite from everything, if you guys could pick just one car that we've seen today, what would you take home? Let me know in the comments below. Just like that, guys, this video is over. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to go subscribe to Dan. I'll have all his stuff in the description down below. The go plug. follow <laughs> Yeah, go follow him as Battle Cars of Ontario. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.